Hi everyone, so I'm lesson two of the modelling pack, and it's all to do with proportion and um, well, proportionality really. Now I think I said I was going to do this as a bit of a standalone one and do the quadratics in the third lesson, but I think I'm going to do both together. So on your page one, your first page, and I want to lump them together there. Right, here we go. So two quantities are proportional when one is a constant multiple when multiplying it all the time. Uh, it could be direct proportion or inverse proportion. What's important is there's no plus C on the end. So you can have something which is direct proportion or inverse proportion where it's on the bottom. So let's have a look at these. So that one isn't because of the plus one. That one is. That one is. That one isn't because of the minus one. And that one is. So these two are both inverse. And that one's just direct. Uh, your pa Is this the bottom of your page seven? It's my page eight on mine. I don't know. Who knows? Right, let's have a look at this one then. So it tells us that y is proportional to x squared. So y is proportional to x squared. Now what I do is I add something called a constant okay, of proportionality. So that's what I need. Add. So my equation is y equals kx squared. And it just wants me to graph it. For when x is bigger than zero, so it starts at the origin and goes up. There we go. Y is k x squared. Part B says find y when x is two. So first of all, I want to find k, and I know that x is four and y is forty. So forty is k lots of four squared. So I'd have 40 is 16k. So what have we got? 10 is 4, so that's going to be 5 over 2, that isn't it? 2.5. So my equation is y equals 2.5x squared. There. So but I've not found out yet what, what um, y is when x is 2. So when x is 2 y is 2.5 times 2 squared, uh, is that going to be 10? Yeah, 10. There. So that's b done. Right, let's have a look at c. Find the exact value of x when y is 45. So y is 45, so I've got 45 is 5 over 2. Because it says exact, I'm going to switch the 2.5 to 5 over 2. x squared. So if I times by 2, it's 90. If I divide by 5, ooh, what's it going to be? Is it going to be 18? Is that right? Yeah. So 18 is equal to x squared. If I square root it, that's going to be, it's going to be 3 root 2, that, isn't it? So it's going to be plus or minus 3 root 2 is x. But we know that x is greater than 0. Therefore, x is a positive 3 root 2. And it's exact, which is what we want. <coughs> job, job. Right, there's one there for you. Question for you. The same idea, but it's to x cubed. So make sure you've got that. Jumper back on, please. So have a quick look at that one. Then we've got another one, which is a 1 over x squared graph. It's like a volcano. A one for you with a 1 over x squared. So inversely proportional ones. Right, so let's have a look at example two. So it says y is inversely proportional to the square of x. So y proportional to 1 over x squared. So y is k over x squared. And that's like a volcano type graph. Right. So that's my equation. Now, 
got to have some information about it to work out what the k value is. So if I look on the graph nicely, it goes through 1, 3. So I'm going to use 1, 3 to find k. Just checking the time then because I completely forgot last time. 3 for k. So my equation is y equals 3 over x squared. So that's part 1 done. Part 2 says find the value of y when x is 10. So when x is 10, y is 3 over 10 squared. y is 3 over 100 or 0.03. Now we're not given any units for this, are we? So we can't put units in. But if we, if we did, then we would. Part 3, oof, find the value of x when y is 3 quarters. So I've got 3 quarters is 3 over x squared. If you look, the 3s will cancel. And I've got a quarter is 1 over x squared. Do a bit of cross multiplying. x squared is 4. x is plus or minus 2. Now if you look at the graph, I can have an x is 2 and I can have an x is minus 2. So I'm okay with that. I've got a plus or minus 2. Right, there's one for you to have a go at with a 1 over x graph. Oh, that's 1 over x cubed, isn't it? Wowzers. Yeah. We can read the 1 over x cubed there. But it's there. Right. I'm just going to stop it for the next one so I've got the next example on a proper uh, video.